not working. It's not working. After the second chance, there is no more chances. Can niggas take what they did shot? Hell no. If that nigga let you fuck him on the first night, he's easy. Mmm, sis. You have to do you regardless, babes, and rock out. Walking your trap and take over. Over. Name another bitch that's cold. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new Rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. I got a show. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. Older. And that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold you. That bitch. And that bitch, man, I thought that they told you. That bitch. What's good my dumb daughters? It's a girl Kata Dawn and I'm back with another video. <sighs> I've been missing for a minute. I've been off. I've been I've been gone for quite a little while now. I'm back and I'm better and that's all that matters. I'm making my return. Return of the Mac, return of the curry, whatever you want to call it. I'm holding my camera because I'm so pissed off. I cannot get no good lighting nowhere. So I decided to just hold my camera. Today's video, as you can tell by the title or if not, is a girl's talk. And I just took some questions from like Kiana J, Neek, people like that. I'm going to be putting my input on the answers. So, like I said, a girl's talk. I'm trying to look in the camera, not the viewfinder. Yeah, I'm just so over it. And the fact that I already, you know, recorded this video and now I got to do it again is arcing me. I'm gonna hold my camera and I'm gonna hold my camera and answer these questions. Um, again, I'm back. If you're new to my channel, hey, my name's Kari. If you're not, y'all already know what it is. Go ahead and leave a like, comment on my video, and hit that subscribe button if you ain't subscribed because what you waiting on. If you like me now, you'll love me later. I've been gone for a little minute, guys. I miss y'all, but I'm going to try to have like a um a uploading schedule so I have like regular times where I upload. My arm is going to hurt from holding this damn camera. We got to thug it out. It is what it is. I miss y'all. I know y'all miss me. So, the first question is, what have you learned about friendships? Everybody is not genuine. Everybody is not genuine. Hold on. Y'all had to take a quick little pause. Okay, so what I've learned about friendships is everybody is not genuine. People come and go in season. Friendships take a lot of work. So, just like you would put in work into anything else, if it's um, a relationship or your job, friendships take a lot of work just like any other relationship does. Everybody is not genuine. And you'll know when you have real friends. The second question is, do you believe in soul ties? Y'all, I'm gonna get so irritated holding this. I wonder if I could like put y'all down like, if I try to sit y'all on my leg. It's not working, it's not working. Do I believe in soul ties? Soul ties are very real and I feel like until you experience it for yourself, a lot of people are gonna say it's not real. So really, no soul ties are real you would just have to experience it and that's how i feel i'm trying to be more authentic with you two and not so like hey how you guys doing see so y'all gonna see a lot of my personality come out the more and more you watch me subscribe if you haven't already the lighting is with me like it's literally are showers or baths more beneficial for women? I feel like, me personally, I take showers. If you're gonna take a bath, I feel like, well, I don't feel like it is. That's bathing in your own dirt. If you are gonna take a bath, I feel like you should definitely 100% take a shower. You should definitely 100% take a shower after the fact. You know, just to make sure that you clean for real. Not getting a shower afterwards. Mmm, sis. How do you feel about birth control? I feel like birth control is like a 50-50 thing. The thing that you get in your arm, a lot of people say that it um, makes you gain weight. I don't have that one. I do have the pill. The only thing with the pill is they say you could still get pregnant. Like, I've witnessed it. So, when it comes to birth control, it's kind of like you just do it on your own time. With the pills, at least, I hate my hormones when I take it. It's, I'm just like, I get really like emotional so that's a down like a con i guess you could say to birth control it's pretty straight like it'll regulate your period you don't see your period at all sometimes it's like not something that you should let somebody else tell you to do or not i feel like it's something that you'll have to you know experience on your own to basically see if you're gonna like it or not type shit you feel me <laughs> i'm just a badass how do you feel about sex on the first night? If you've been talking to somebody and you know you want to have sex with them, it doesn't matter if it's on the first night or the third night. If you know you want to have intercourse with that person and you already know that's coming up, first night, second night, third night, it don't matter. It's all about when you're ready. Don't ever make a nigga make you feel like, you know, you got to pressure yourself into doing it. Or don't ever make that nigga feel like after he pressured you, you was easy. No, you have sex on your own 
own terms and conditions. And baby, if anything, if that nigga lets you fuck him on the first night, he's easy. Don't let these niggas get the upper hand on you when it comes to having sex. Your body is your temple. So if you feel like you're ready to do that, then you're ready. That's just simple as that. Oh, okay, this is a good question. How do you keep your man in a non-sexual way? You gotta be there for your man. You have to be able to hear his concerns just as much as he should be hearing yours. So if your nigga had a bad day, you know, hey baby, how you doing? What can I do to make you feel better? Home cooked meals, just talking to your nigga and understanding his mental will really go a long way. But when it comes to relationships, knowing and understanding your man is how to keep the man. If you have issues outside of that, like if you're doing all of that and your nigga still just not, you know, connecting, like what's not clicking, maybe he has the piece on the side or maybe it's something that y'all need to talk about, you know, something that's going on internally or maybe he's not attracted to you anymore. If you're doing everything you need to do to keep your man and he not, you know, being kept, that's the conversation that y'all need to have or maybe you need to look at yourself like what can you do better a nigga's not just gonna want somebody to talk to them and fake like they actually care you gonna care about your nigga care about him wholeheartedly and that's just that this is a really good question what would i tell my 17 year old self these three simple words life goes on it's been so many times when i was younger and i just felt like it was the end of the world certain situations that i was in that i never thought that i would be in i felt like it was just gonna be the end of the world and look at me now good and bad has happened in my life you shouldn't care what other people think about you you can't wait on somebody else to get right for you you have to do you regardless babes and rock out to work on this lighting because once i learn my camera settings a little bit more baby we come in we're coming hard. So go to my channel if you have How do you know when a friendship is genuine? When the person will do the same thing that you will do for them. They're not coming behind you how you come behind them. That friendship ain't genuine. A person will show you if they're genuine or not. Advice that leads into that is when a person show you who they are the first time, believe them. I be thinking one time, Keisha will never do me like that. Keisha will do you like that. So you can't be so confident in your friends when they start doing weird shit. To see the signs when it's early. Do you believe in second chances with friendships and relationships? I very much do believe in second chances. I'm the person that'll like give people the benefit of the doubt a lot. I don't really do it anymore. Now, if I didn't give you a second chance and you fuck up again for the same sh or even something different, there's no coming back from that. After the second chance, there is no more chances. I didn't already forgave you and now I'm watching you extra close. After the second chance, it's no more chances. I do believe in second chances because I feel like, you know, everybody deserves second chances. God gives us many chances. So if he love us in despite of our mess ups, then who are we to judge? My arm getting tired, oh Jesus. Do you think men can take what they dish out? Hell no, men can't take what they dish out. If a nigga put her eyes on your story and you reply with a thank you, I done seen niggas fall out. Can't take what they dish out. Meanwhile, they all under your homegirl post or the school thought. Whatever you want to call it. Liking their pictures and making you look dumb. But as soon as you do that shit, like one of their homeboy pictures. They like one of their homeboy pictures and I promise you that nigga gonna fall. Unless you have a nigga who is securing himself and securing your relationship, niggas cannot take what they dish out. I done seen it too many times. Niggas, hell no, niggas can't. Can niggas take what they dish out? Hell no. How do you know when a nigga is losing interest? The signs will tell the nigga, you know, won't hit you up that much no more. He won't be liking your, you know, your shit on Instagram like like that no more. Don't try to bring you around his family. That's how you know you're really just a booty call at that point. It's very obvious when a nigga is losing interest. Like, you, you'll you just know. I mean, I guess I would need a more specific question. How do you get over your A? Block that nigga. Simple as that. If you don't block the nigga, then that gives him access to you still. And if he still has access to you, he's gonna use every chance he can to manipulate you. Don't let the nigga have access to you and that's how you cut that nigga off. That's how you get over him. You start working on yourself. Them eight hour shifts gonna be hard as hell, heartbroken, but that's okay. We get through it and that's what we have our friends for. Go to the club, get a drink, smoke a little za. Do what you gotta do. Block that nigga is definitely the first step because if you give him a little bit of access to you, that nigga gonna take the whole mile. Keep trying to manipulate your ass into thinking that he really fuck with you when he don't take it from me all right guys so that was my last question if y'all haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave a big thumbs up leave comments down below on you know if you like this video any other questions you know let's have a little chat in the comments definitely subscribe definitely like my name is kari if you didn't know i'm 20 years old i live in orlando florida i'm from fort lauderdale my paper color is black um yeah, I'm back. And tune in for more videos. Peace.